Okay, it says I'm live now. Okay, good. Oh boy, I need to change that angle. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, it has to do vertical, huh? Yeah, it has to do vertical. Oh, geez. Okay, hold on. Let me make some magic happen here. This is good. I think this is good Okay, but you're a boy. You don't understand that girls were all about angles. You got to have good angles. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So we're live. So hi, Alana. So this is, uh, so if you can hear me, this is Peter from Box D. And we're here again in a live session. And today we're talking with Alana from Make Pie Not War. Uh, Alana's a jewelry maker from, you're in Fresno, California, right? Yes. So, yeah, so we're in a remote session today with Alana uh, from Make Pie Not War. So Alana, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what is Make Pie Not War? Make Pie Not War is a handmade jewelry company from uh, Fresno, California, and um, I make everything from scratch, and I use um, old goldsmith techniques, and just kind of pour all my love into it, and I do a lot of custom pieces for people, so, yeah. And how long have you uh, been making the jewelry? I've been doing this now for, it's going to be my eighth year. I just celebrated my eighth anniversary. So, yeah. Eight years, wow. Yeah. So that's, a, that's a quite a long time. So where do, where do you, do you just sell on Etsy? Or where do you, where do you sell online? Um, we sell all over. We, the meat and potatoes of our business is via Etsy, but we have a showroom in Los Angeles, and they sell all over for us. Um, Bakersfield, all right, whoop, whoop. Central Valley, yeah. I was actually born and raised in Visalia, so Bakersfield's kind of a little bit closer. Um, anyways, uh, I'm a fart in the wind. Wait, what were we talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, come up with a name, make pie not one. Oh, geez. Okay, that's kind of a funny story. Um, my husband has a clothing company. <laughs> Yeah, we used to go to all these really like crazy festivals and we'd see all these really cheesy t-shirts. <laughs> and it was late one night and my best friend and I, we were just kind of talking and making fun of some of those t-shirts. And I said, how about instead of make love not warm, we make pie not warm. And it was super dumb at the time, <laughs> but it just kind of stuck with me and it just kind of embodies my, um, my business that it's just like lighthearted and, um, it's just how we like to keep it around here. It's just kind of light. <laughs> yeah, can we take a look at some of your uh, pieces? <laughs> sure. Let me grab some for you guys really quick. Hold on one second. Sorry, things are a little bit crazy around here. And so for those of you just joining us, um, we're in a remote session live today with Alana from Make Pie Now World. Alana is a jewelry maker based in Fresno. Um, hold on, let me grab one more piece. So a little background info, a lot of stuff that we make is all from raw materials. So we didn't really, we don't really like have things mass produced, everything's made in house. So um, like for example, Here's one of our better little sellers. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but it's my little cat ring. It's got a little cat face on there for all the cat lady lovers. Um, and then like, these are like a little pair of hoops that we do. Um, just like super simple and hammered and I think they're really pretty personally, but. Um, we do a ton of bar necklaces. Bar necklaces are like the new circle mom pendant that everyone has. Um, this is one of our popular items. It's a long bar necklace. This is done in rose gold, rose gold filled. I see that. <laughs> and um, we mostly do most of our work in like gold filled, rose gold filled or sterling silver. I also work in brass or copper. Um, and every once in a while someone will want me to work in solid gold, but um, for the most part people don't want to pay for solid gold. So, um, so so the material is, you said sterling, silver, and gold? 
Yeah, it's either, it's, most of it's gold filled, like, like these hoops, for example, that I made, they're little triangle hoops. These are made out of gold filled. Um, and what that means is it's like a really thick layer of gold and it's um, permanently applied over brass. So unless it's mistreated, you should really never get to the brass core or if it's been like cut or something, then you might be exposed to the brass. But for the most part, you should just be exposed to gold. So it's a nice, it's a nice alternative to solid gold. Most people don't want to pay for that. So yeah, it looks like so you make everything yourself you make everything by hand yourself from from the, the raw material itself like and, um, how does it look in the beginning before you start to actually make it and how does it become the actual jewelry it's a good question um <clears throat> most of my stuff comes in a couple different forms most of it comes in either a wire form or it comes like here i have a little piece of wire i probably have them right here so like Here's a little piece of rose gold wire. This I would use to, sorry, there was a fly trying to attack me. Um, this wire right here I would use to like make like a name necklace. Like I have one right now I just did for our latest um, collection. And it says Girl Boss. Um, it's like a little trendy little hit board right now. So we did one say Girl Boss and I made it out of that wire. And so they're kind of just like little fun things. Another way my metal comes is like in sheet metal. And I get that in different metal compositions, and I also get that in different, what we call gauges. Wire also comes in gauges, but, um, yeah. Awesome. And it looks like you're, um, you have a really nice studio. Can you show us maybe a, a tour of the, of the studio, of the workshop you can see? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy right now. We just released our latest collection, so it's a little crazy, um, but we like it crazy. Otherwise, we wouldn't do this. Um, okay, so we'll start with my pretty wall. This used to be a really hideous garage, and it was really dark and depressing to work in here. Um, so, okay, so here's my, wait, hold on a second. I'm getting my bearings, guys, give me a second. Okay, so this is my computer wall. It's got, like, all my packaging supplies. Oh, wait. How often do I my, my how often do I raise my collection? I usually do two major collections a year. Um, and then that's like my secretary desk that I keep my computer in so that the desk doesn't ruin my computer. All of this barn wood, might I add, comes from a local barn that was dismantled by a local guy here. And then we put it up on my wall, which is pretty sweet. My aprons. And then here's my favorite wall. It's my Liberty of London purple. I love it with all my heart. I painted my logo on here. I don't know why I cannot get my bearings. Here we go. There we go. That's my logo. Um, and then there's my sink basin and my beautiful Kate Spade wall. It's my gold polka dots. I love all my heart. And then I don't know if you'll even be able to see this. Why, why can I not do this? Hold on. I'm going to flip you guys around. Okay, here we go. That's like so much easier. Um, that is my chandelier. And this is my like soldering slash metal forming area right here. You can kind of see it's like super not pretty, but it's all right. It's my little tanks. And then here's my drill press. And then um, that's one of the ways I cut my sheet metal. That thing is pretty intense. Um, and then this is what's called my lathe and it kind of does a lot of the polishing. And is there like what I keep my boxes in and stuff? And then this down here, well, there's my shark, my shark dog right here. He thinks he's in Sharknado. And then here's my other little dog. He's black, so you can't see him. <laughs> Gas tanks for what? Um, you have to have to solder. You have to have, um, that's my propane, and then that's my oxygen. And propane starts the fire, and then you need oxygen to make it really hot. So that's for soldering over there. Or if I was to do, like, casting, too, I would use the same thing. This is my, um, show the dogs again. This is my dog, Smeagol, like, from Lord of the Rings. There he is. <laughs> he loves wearing costumes and clothes. And that's Obi, and he does not like wearing clothes. Um, this is where I do stamping. You can kind of see my metal stamps. And there's my little Dremel and some tools. And here's some like metal that's getting ready to be made into stuff. Here's my sheet metal and 
it looks like a hot mess, but beautiful things come from that. So, and then here's what we put everything together. This table is like the assembly packing table. And then this is my table right here that um, I do a lot of my forming and kind of creating. And it's just kind of my little lady area. Oh, and I'd also like to show my gold poof because I really love it. Um, how did I learn how to work all this? That's an interesting. Well, to be quite honest with you, most of it happens from necessity. So if I have um, an idea that I really want to happen, I just kind of have to <laughs> make, kind of make and create my own techniques. I also have a mentor that lives in the mountains that I go see. <laughs> He's like this old man that lives in the hills. He's great. I love him so much. And he kind of has just been... Uh, kind of just a really good friend and a good mentor for me. Yeah. So how do you get inspirations for new designs? Like when, you, when you think of new designs? That's a, that's a really hard one. Um, my latest design, I created like a pretzel necklace because I really love pretzels. <laughs> and I just kind of did like a little food theme. So like this year was kind of just more going back to my roots of being more lighthearted and... Um, I definitely tend to go towards like the geometrics and the triangles and, and stuff like that. Like I gravitate towards that. And then I also gravitate towards things that are like funny. Like one of our new rings, um, it's like, like a skinny little ring that goes around your finger and it says, er day I'm hustling. <laughs> <sighs> what the eating base to it. Oh, I have a taco necklace, a pretzel necklace, a pizza necklace. I'm working on um, an ice cream cone. That one's been more difficult than I had hoped. And I made um, a bigger lemon and then a smaller lemon. And then one says, uh, when life gives you, and it's like the bigger lemon. And then the smaller baby lemon says, make lemonade. So it's kind of like for best friends or like mother, daughter. I made one actually for my daughter and I because... We think we're funny, so... What are the price ranges of your uh, jewelry pieces, usually? They can range anywhere from, like, $26 to $65, $70. It, it just depends. Like, a lot of my pieces you can get in brass, but if you want, like, a better metal, like, gold-filled or rose-gold-filled, you know, there will usually be, like, a $20, $30 upcharge, depending on the metal. Um, you know, if you get to the thicker metals, there's a lot more gold on it, so I just... You know, have to charge more. Yeah. And which, um, what are your the, the, your favorite pieces that you built? Can you show us like the, your favorite ones? My favorite ones. Oh, I wish I could show you guys my favorite ones, but they are um, most of them are in Los Angeles right now on uh, in LA Market. So, but I'll show you the ones that I have here that are, are my favorites. <laughs> usually, the, usually the pieces that I love the most usually do the worst. Um. So that's kind of like the bitter pill you have to swallow as a designer. Yeah, I just showed my studio. I'm sorry, you literally just missed it. Maybe I'll show it really quick before we leave. Um, like this necklace was from my last collection. Didn't do as well as I had hoped, so I actually retired it on my line sheets. But it's actually like a choker style necklace. It sits like really high up on your... Um... <laughs> that didn't rematch. Oh, rewatch. Oh, yeah. Um... Anyway, so, like, pieces like these, like, I like the more, like, mod, Egyptian, 1920s, like, I like that kind of stuff, but my customers like a lot of the personalized things, like, kind of like this little bar that I showed, like, this is what does really well for me, so, you know. Oh, yeah, they like, to, they like to sketch their own names. And yeah, like people them. like to make it their own, which I'm totally okay with. A lot of my designs, going back to inspiration, kind of come from being a mom myself and wanting a cool mom necklace that's not the silver discs which are cool don't get me wrong i have one but you know i just kind of want something like different you know that people be like hey what is that i'm like hey that's my daughter's initials I'm like oh that's so cute you know i'm a girl i can't help it <laughs> you take custom mold orders basically you take a lot of yeah um yesterday i actually just um Oh, custom orders, you can actually contact me on my Etsy store, or you can always email me, but Etsy is probably the easiest to get a hold of me on, just because they make it really easy just to streamline the custom orderization process. Um, 
It's my Etsy store is called Make Pie Not War. And it's just makepie.war.etsy.com. Super easy to get to you. And then you can always, um, Etsy store name is makepie.war.etsy.com. <laughs> And you've been selling on Etsy for a while, right? Basically since the beginning when you started selling jewelry, you started selling on Etsy. Yeah, I actually, um, I went to fashion school in 2005. I had to think about that for a second. And I remember my friend telling me, hey, you should sell on Etsy. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And then like a year and a half later, I was, uh, I think I opened my store. So yeah, we started selling in 2007 there. And do you prefer people, do you also have a website, do you prefer people to buy from Etsy or your website is the same or it doesn't? Um, actually on my website it'll take you to Etsy. Oh, okay. Um, I've thought about using a special cart, but I've just decided to stay with Etsy. I love Etsy, that's where my roots are and they are a really awesome place to sell. So um, I have nothing but praise for Etsy, so yeah. And your website is makepie.net. Yep. Uh, Makepie.net. Basically, it's more of a showcase than the people actually buy from, from Etsy store. Yeah, a lot of people like to see, or, you know, actually, honestly, just maybe I'd say a couple years ago, a lot of people still hadn't heard of Etsy. Go figure, I don't know. But some people still weren't, like, especially some of my older clients, they're like, Etsy, what's Etsy, you know? <laughs> Etsy. <laughs> so, how long do I work on creating joy? Um, more hours than I care to admit. <laughs> I am working constantly, like I love it, it's one of the passions of my life, so it doesn't feel like work all the time, but you know, like this week when we released our new collection, I went to bed at 3.30 every night, so <laughs> it was a little brutal, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's either, you know, feast or famine when you are uh, self-employed, so I'm grateful for the business I have and I like working, so. And what's, what's next for you? Um, like, where, where do you think about taking your store next? Um, well, next week we're actually, well, like in a week and a half, we're going to New York City. We're doing a big show called NY Now. Um, and that's always exciting to try new trade shows. We've done the magic trade shows, I don't know, for a couple years now. And we kind of want to branch out to New York City. We do really well in New York and Boston and areas like that. So we kind of want to go towards the east coast and we do well on the west well, I mean, we do well we go we ship all over the world but we kind of want to um make our presence a little bit more well known in on the east coast so that's our next venture in a couple weeks so we're excited awesome so i guess somebody did ask to show the studio again Maybe you oh you want to see one time okay i'm gonna flip it around this time okay <laughs> okay so we'll start over here that's my daughter's little bean bag um, I do come to the Bay Area. We do. Um, we actually just got accepted today into Bizarre Bazaar. They have a um, a new festival that's starting. That's my beautiful wall. That's my basin. Um, in November, so we will be in San Francisco in on November seventh and eighth at I think it's the Fort Mason Center. So we're excited about that. We always love the people at Bizarre Bazaar. It's a super fun show. Oh, and here's my. What's that? Yeah, come by. I'm super chatty, so if you guys like to chat, I'm your girl. There's my little stamps, and here's stuff in process. That's my Sharknado dog. I'm a sci-fi channel junkie. I can't help it. Okay, here we go. And that's my barn wood. Um, and that was from a local barn. We live in a super ag area, so um, we have a lot of barns that are kind of like dilapidated, and people are taking them down. So we had this guy take one down. Like, that's literally... A barn like you can even see like the hinges that it was on it's super and that's my air conditioner because I live in Fresno and it's like 105 it's crazy hot those are my aprons that I use to polish and yeah that's my gold poof again because I'm just in love with my gold poof I love gold if you can't tell so yeah make the dog's clothing as well <laughs> no no that was courtesy of Walmart thanks Walmart um, no, I actually went to fashion school, so I can make clothes, but, um, ain't nobody got time to make clothes anymore. It takes too much time. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that was, uh, really good. So, uh, thanks so much for, um, giving us the whole tour of your, uh, of your store. And, 
and all your jewelry. Maybe you can just show us a few more of your pieces or just showcase a, a couple more of your jewelry pieces um, for the audience that just joined. Um, we haven't looked at it for a while. Sure. Okay, let me find you guys some new ones. Here's a piece that would probably, here's a couple pieces. Actually, there's a store we sell in San Francisco called Establish. Okay. And um, we sell to a couple stores, but Establish, they probably have the best selection of our stuff. And um, they carry stuff like this at their store. The Bay Area, you guys love that minimalistic, modern stuff. You guys just can't get enough of it, So, which I love it. It's probably why I love San Francisco, besides all the bomb food. These are like little square little studs. They sit on your ear like that. It's just like little, little doodads. Here, let me find some other San Francisco flavor. This is probably a little bit much for San Francisco, but, you know, that top knot, like what I'm wearing right now, it's like... Summertime freshness. You get these little. Oh, so do you find like different locations people buy different things than like? Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Like, we have a couple of stores um, in Austin, and they like more rustic. So like my constellations. Here, let me grab one of those. This thing's not on the chain, but you can get the you can get the idea. Um, this is one of my constellations. This is in copper. Let me see if I can get a good light on it. And this is an Aries. It's kind of hard to see. There's like little holes. Can you kind of see there's holes on there? Um, they like this like rustic action. It's Texas. What can you say? And then Austin's a unique place in Texas though. And then like um, New York City, they like clean lines, super modern, like. They don't want gaudy. Don't give New York gaudy. They don't like it. Um, like Portland would eat this up with a spoon. They love this kind of stuff where it's like organic and uh, pretty, but not too pretty. <laughs> That's Portland. They like geometric and organic, and I love Portland. So oh, you know all about the different cities. Yeah, Actually, it's fun, huh? Yeah, we sell a lot to like Japan, and then I get a lot of orders from Singapore. Um, we do well in uh, the UK, and we also do really well in like Sweden, like the Scandinavian countries. Um, but yeah, we sell all over, like Australia, Australia and San Diego. They're very similar. They like the beachy, beachy casual chic. They're like, yeah, you know, like they just went surfing or something. I don't know, but. <laughs> You know, it's just great. I just love how the world is, like, just a cool, fun place, you know? And Etsy makes it easy to ship, ship a worldwide, basically. So. Yeah, no, Etsy makes it really easy where I can ship anywhere, so. Cool. Well, yeah. thanks so much for uh, doing this session and showing us uh, your studio and the jewelry pieces. And again, so we're here with Alana from Make Pie Not War. Her store address is makepie.net, and the Etsy store is Make Pie Not War. So definitely go check out her store. And uh, we'll, again, this is a live session, and we're checking out right now. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. And you can just end. Yeah, you can just end. <laughs> okay. How do I? Just yeah, and the don't touch anything. Um, it should have the hard copy. And then we just. Um, is it? Are we still live? Uh, I don't think so. No, we're not. Let me see. It doesn't look like it's right. Okay. Where is it still like? Oh, I guess we are still like. So you just need to <laughs> swipe down.